Well, it ain't just Trump that's the problem with the country. It is Trumpism, which is the, the mask-off right-wing extremism that we have seen become just part of our, of our political process. Now, on one side, you have people who actually are interested in facts, people who believe in, you know, wild lefty things like it's bad to be racist, uh, fighting against people who are LARPing in a right wing cult. The result has been the Stop Woke Act in Florida, amongst other things, and on MSNBC. On Joy Reid's show, The Readout, uh, there was recently an interview which I think is eye-opening. Let's, let's have a gander. We want to do uh, history. That's what our standards for, for black history are. It's just cut-and-dried history. You learn all the basics. You learn about the great figures. And, you know, I view it as American history. I don't view it as separate history. We told you last week about the latest move by Governor wow. Ron DeSantis to control the type of education that Florida students can receive, rejecting an advanced placement course in African-American studies, claiming it was, quote, contrary to Florida law, and if you can believe it, significantly lacking educational value. We see and hear you, Ron. The law he refers to seems to be the Stop Woke Act, which basically gives DeSantis the power to downplay the actual racial history of our country to appease those who look more like, well, Ron DeSantis. For many teachers, this assault on the education system is instilling fear of teaching the true history of our country and even Florida's history of racial violence, as depicted in this dystopian ad from the advocacy group Equality Florida. Let me just be clear. A dystopian ad, yes, but the reality we are living in. Because this is the stuff that DeSantis is trying to do. Miss George? Why is this part crossed out? But there are some in the state who refuse to back down, like Marvin Dunn, one of the preeminent historians in Florida, who is saying, bring it on. Dunn, a professor emeritus at Florida International University, is taking it upon himself to, as he says, teach the truth by leading statewide tours of high school students and their parents to the sites of some of the worst racial violence in Florida's history. Sites that Boom. some of these students say they have never heard about in their own classrooms. Dunn is also one of the eight plaintiffs in a lawsuit over the Stop Woke Act law. He told the Washington Post, quote, listen, if there is such a thing as the woke mob in Florida, I aspire to lead it. Hell Professor yeah. Marvin Dunn joins me now. Now he is the author. Get that man on screen. Just want to be real clear. Uh, civil disobedience is going to become a phrase you hear more and more as, until Trumpism is stopped in America. Civil disobedience is going to become necessary because some of the some of the behavior that has been put into law and that will be put into law from these MAGA extremists is straight up immoral. It is immoral to follow a law that is immoral, plain and simple. Men like this are heroes. And we got to join them. You're a teacher, the hell of a thing to ask, but you can't, you can't follow a law like this. You cannot agree to brainwash children. And if the result is a bunch of teachers are fired, are put in jail, that's what we have to endure in the fight for decency.
And all I can say as someone who considers himself an ally of anyone fighting on the side of good is that where I can, I will join you. We have the unfortunate uh, reality to deal with that uh, the, the America really is going back to those days that Donald Trump, that was great. Going back to the 50s. Going back to the 60s. Not going back to the tax policies of those times that allowed us to build up the middle class by taxing the ultra-wealthy. Just going back to the racism of a history of Florida through black eyes. And I have not seen this uh, wonderful gentleman in many years. It is good to lay eyes upon you, Professor Dunn. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Joy. Good to see you again, too. Great to see you, too. So your book is called A History of Florida Through Black Eyes. Uh, it contains photos that were unearthed over 50 years of research documenting lynchings and other crimes against black folks in Florida. Um, you also donated a collection of 4,000 photos to uh, FIU, Florida International Excellent. University, which I know very well. Is your book, in your view, in, in your mind, as you understand this, quote, Stop Woke Act, is it legal to teach your book in Florida schools? Oh, no. No, no. If, if, if a teacher in Florida schools was caught taking this book to school, he or she could be fired, could be charged with a felony. Uh, this book is not allowed in Florida schools because it touches on the very things that DeSantis wants hidden uh, from Florida students. So, no, this book is not admitted, could not be admitted into the uh, a Florida classroom. That's part of what we're facing here in this crisis. Why does DeSantis want that history hidden? By the way, there's a question to ask. Because he's trying to repeat it. As he pushes for what he calls anti-woke policies, what he is pushing for is bigotry. That's what he's pushing for. To be woke according to Ron DeSantis' own definition in court is to acknowledge that there was or is inequity in the systems we have in place. That the results are not fair for all groups involved. That is being woke, according to Ron DeSantis's definition in a courtroom. To acknowledge inequity, to acknowledge injustice, in his mind is being woke, and he wants to stop it. And you, you know, um, say, tweet... Go on. I was just going to say... I was teaching at Florida International University before Ron DeSantis was born. Boom. Now he sidles up to me and tells me what I can't teach in my classroom. Excuse me, sir, you're not my boss. You're not the boss of me. Uh, this man, yeah. when he taught school for a very brief period of time, some of his students claim that Ron DeSantis taught the Civil War as if the Confederates had a point. They had they lost yes. property. Some of, of his students say that Ron DeSantis taught them that uh, abortion was wrong. Now, he's teaching this in his classes, his political agenda, his personal agenda. Now he comes as governor and tells us we can't teach unless uh, we respect uh, what he prescribes as very, very rigid rules of, of academic freedom. How many people do you know that hear about the Civil War or that talk about the Civil War, talk about states' rights? That's a talking point. That's a far-right talking point that a lot of teachers push because they themselves come from a poison culture. What Ron DeSantis is trying to stop, though, is not the spread of opinion. It's the spread of fact. The reasons for X, Y, or Z. That's what he wants cut out. The left-wing meme is the simple question, states' rights to what? To have slaves. Uh, he's, he's a hypocrite. He's an absolute hypocrite. And what he's yep. doing, frankly, is just totally destroying education in Florida. I, da I dare this man to show me one school in Florida where critical race theory is being taught. Just one school. One school in Florida where students are being told feel bad because of something someone did 20 years ago. Where, where is that happening, Ron? He cannot point out what this is all made up. It's Ooh. fake. 
Okay, so why is he saying that? Because critical race theory, just for those that haven't been following this close, probably because they understand that it's right-wing nonsense, uh, critical race theory is a college-level class. That's, that's where the name even comes from, a college-level course dealing with the causes of inequity in America. Right-wingers got up on their, uh, their soapbox and started saying, we got to stop teaching this to our kids. We got to stop teaching critical race theory to our little tiny babies, knowing damn well that kids were not being taught critical race theory. College students were in a totally appropriate setting. But incidentally, they happen to have taken that buzzword and used it to assault education through and through, from kindergarten till now. Absolutely disgusting behavior. Aimed at getting him to the White House. This man is running for president and using race as a cudgel to beat the votership over the head. To, to your very point, I mean, the things that they claim are their concerns, because you've already had uh, Florida's, coll uh, Florida's college board um, rejected, um, the African-American studies course rejected. You've had Florida schools that are under the, you know, sort of the regime of the governor come back and say, no, 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 we promise we're not teaching critical race theory in our schools, as you said, they don't, that they've already backed down and said that they won't do it. You actually went right at Ron DeSantis. Um, you Hell are yeah. one of the members, uh, one of the plaintiffs in the lawsuit that is trying to challenge the Stop Woke Act. Uh, you tweeted references to your own family's history at Ron DeSantis. And you said to him, this is the history of my own family. These are the things that we de have dealt with. Um, collecting used books from all white schools because they couldn't uh, be allowed to have new books. Mm. Um, being on the migrant trails in the 1940s, your father not being allowed to be a cook in the Navy during World War II because he Jesus. was black. Have you received a response from Ron DeSantis uh, on the challenges you put forward about your own history? Not a word. I wrote to Ron and to Manny Diaz asking them, what kinds of things am I not allowed to teach? How am I supposed to teach the Holocaust without feelings? How am I supposed to teach slavery without feelings? How am I to explain to students a woman having her baby snatched from her and sold out to someone else and not express my sense that that's evil? So what we're being asked to do is to super sterilize American history, to take race out of it and act as if race wasn't a factor. If DeSantis had his way in the teaching of slavery, for example, slavery in Florida would be taught uh, some Africans came over, worked for free for a while, and that was it. That's slavery. It's exactly some, correct. Some people took some people and, and that killed is what he them. Was That's it. Take the time. race out of it. He is so determined to kill our history uh, that it just makes me and others even more determined uh, to save it and to protect it. Why is he determined to kill that history? Because he's trying to repeat the bad parts. That's the answer. I don't... I don't uh, uh, Shrink from DeSantis. Uh, he is a bully. Uh, he is yes. uh, he, he's an autocrat. And yep. he's a little guy trying to become a big guy. He's a baby child. And I think the people of this country will recognize that, particularly when they see what yep. he's going to do to our schools if he becomes president. Well, and I will note that Manny Diaz, for those who don't know, Manny Diaz Jr. is the Secretary of Education. He's the Commissioner of Education in Florida. He is the one who praised the colleges, including two that have black presidents, who put out this sort of, you know, statement of, of kneeling to Ron DeSantis, saying, no, no, don't worry. We won't teach anything about critical race theory in our schools. I want to point out some of the things mm. that they that Manny Diaz put out a statement objecting to. Teaching and reading bell hooks teaching and reading Kimberly Crenshaw, who is because of her connection to intersectionality, teaching Angela Davis, a seminal figure in African-American and American history. I could go on. Do you believe that because of what Crazy. Ron DeSantis is doing, and it's seemingly his personal um, objection to the idea that there was racism in America and that it should be taught, do you think that's going to make Florida students less attractive to colleges around the country and less before we go into you know, the financial consequences, uh, just take a moment 
ask yourself a question I find myself asking constantly. Aren't these people embarrassed? How are right-wingers not ashamed to show their faces in public when this is the kind of stuff they're pushing? How are, how are there such a thing as Trump flags in 2023? How does anybody vote for DeSantis and look at themselves in the mirror when this is the kind of nonsense they're pushing? They're against education. Plain and simple. It's educa- I'm j- oh my God. They're against education, plain and simple. Uh, they, they, they have stances on issues which would have been viewed 20 years ago, 20 years of progress ago, theoretically, as being too goofy, too evil to be considered realistic. If you wrote a character that had these stances, you would be uh, uh, made fun of for having a cartoonish villain. That's their actual stances these days. We cannot permit this in our country any longer. They would prefer we become an apartheid state. Actual Trumpers have said on the Good Liars, for example, that they are for a return to slavery. We currently have a form of slavery in the form of the private prison system in the U.S. If you can catch one of them, the them being a wink, you can get them in prison. You can make them work for free. We have a long way to go towards racial equity in our country. We have a, a long way to go just to undo the evil that has been allowed to happen under our watch. Our being this generation of people who are alive today. Whether you constantly voted against it or not, it happened while we were here means we bear some responsibility for it. We got, we have got to undo it. There's a couple of ways you can do that. And you know what? I'll, the, there's another minute and 39 in that video. Uh, the link is in the description. If you want to watch all of it. This guy does a fantastic job of um, explaining what is wrong with DeSantis and how you should react to it. <clears throat> I would recommend, though, you take advantage of some of the links provided in, uh, in this video. Uh, you can vote in primaries. You want to know who to vote for? The DSA does a great job of, of telling you who the progressives are. Progressives will be aggressive about getting us back on track. That would be how I recommend you, uh, you go about getting change done. 2023 is here. That means 2024 is going to be ramped up to all year where people are running for office. There's a link to the DSA. You can join them if you so choose. There's also a link under uh, March Like a King to a uh, way you can get notified about marches that might be coming up, how you can organize protests. Take advantage of it. If you are one of the people whose history is being erased, definitely be there. If you are somebody who considers yourself an ally, definitely be there. Don't let these people take all the risk by themselves. Don't let them suffer alone. Stand with them. 